I spent a lot of money on getting on every state ballot in this country. We got a million Americans to sign their names to petitions. We built a network in every state in this country. The entire time, our polling and all the national polling was showing that the majority, about 57 to 60 percent, of the people that wanted to support me, if I dropped out of the race, they were going to, they said that they wanted to vote for Donald Trump. So I was hurting Donald Trump. I was hurting the Republican Party. But the Republican Party did nothing to stop me from getting on any ballot. The Republic, Donald Trump was, was critical of me in a way that was congenial, that was respectful, and that was kind. And, and, but he did nothing. And meanwhile, the Democratic Party spent tens of millions of dollars to defame me, to publish perjuries against me, to publish fake news against me, to marginalize me, to make me look like a crazy person, and they spent tens of millions of more dollars to get me ought to make sure I could not get on those state ballots. All the pundits from the beginning said he will never get on the state ballots, but we did it despite those tens of millions of dollars in attorneys to sue us in all the states to make sure we couldn't get on. The Democratic Party, <laughs> the Democratic Party sued me to keep me off the state here in Michigan, off the ballot. And the day that I announced for Donald Trump, they, they pivoted and sued me to keep me on the ballot. And so far, they've won that lawsuit. So my name is going to appear on the Michigan ballot. But I don't want you to vote for me. I want you to vote for Donald J. Trump. Because that's the only way and I'm going to get to Washington, D.C., and do all the things to help end the war, to end the chronic disease epidemic, to end the censorship, to end the surveillance, and all the other things that I entered this race to do. And, now, I've been a Democrat my whole life, and I heard all of the descriptions of MAGA during the 2016 election. And I bought into a lot of them. And then one day I heard Hillary Clinton criticize Tulsi Gabbard for being a communist, a Russian plant. Tulsi Gabbard, who put her life on the line again and again for this country in military service, something that Hillary Clinton never did. And I began to have doubts about what I was being told about MAGA. And when President Trump got elected, I said 80 million people voted for him. How can we dismiss 80 million of our fellow Americans as deplorables? Oh, I went, I don't want to work in Washington, D.C. I have a good job. I have a great life. But I want to help these kids so that we can end the chronic disease epidemic. And I went to him. I went to President Trump, and I said to President Trump, if you want my help, I am here to do it. And we worked together for a while. But I started to understand that MAGA, you know, for most Democrats, MAGA, Make America Great Again, means going back to the 1950s. And they say it's racist because we didn't have civil rights in our country at that time for black Americans. 
they say it's, it's di dictatorial and it's against freedom of speech because that was the area, era of Joe McCarthy. And they say it's isolationist and retrograde. But the more that I get to know you and the more that I get to know Donald Trump, I understand what MAGA really means. And...